All right. Um, today we're going to do the, the gold for the treasure chest here. Um, so what we're doing is um, I've got the mass set up in the folder, so anything I create in that folder will only overlay this this section here. So that's already set. So I'm going to do gold coins in here. Um, we can do jewelry and stuff a little bit later. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm uh, right now I've just got a a blank sheet of paper or blank uh, canvas. I'm going to go with my default colors and I'm actually just going to grab a um, marquee here. I'm going to do an elliptical and then if I hold down shift and I believe it's control so shift and control um, what that does um, will create a perfect circle okay and then I'm just going to go Alt uh, Backspace to fill it with black. And then I'm going to swap my colors here by hitting the little arrow. And I'm going to go in the paintbrush. And with my paintbrush, just make sure my paintbrush is the average old everyday circle. Nothing fancy. And we're just going to up the size here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is we are going to... Actually, let's do this. Let's do um, select, and we're going to do modify and contract, and we're going to contract this. This is probably pretty big, so we're going to do this by like 50. Let's see how that looks. Oops. Let's do it again. Select, modify, contract. Um, it really depends on what you're doing. I've got a 4,000 uh, pixel wide canvas here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but, so let's contract by 150. Alright, so it doesn't look perfect, but, um, so we've got this in here. Um, and then, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and do a little bit of transfer. And I'm going to go a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do uh, fuzzy. And I'm just kind of going to roll around here, nothing. Nothing perfect, nothing doesn't need to be fancy. It's just going to give me um, this aspect here. And then uh, we can actually right click, go back to hardness, lower this, and I'm just gonna put a design in there. Doesn't matter again what it is. You know, nothing per you know, make this perfect type of thing. And then let's do what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go marquee here. Select the marquee, as I showed you in the previous video, edit, uh, define brush preset, and this is our brush. So we're going to say OK, and then go here, and then we're going to pick our paintbrush, and we're going to go to a tip shape, and you're going to scroll down to be, let's find this tip shape. Here's our tip shape. We're going to change our spacing up so that it's a little bit a little bit wider. I'm going to go to um, take off transfer. I'm going to go to shape dynamics. And if you go to shape dynamics, you can get your, your uh, we're up there angle jitter, change the roundness to about halfway. And then it's just a matter of picking the right color. Now, don't always go primary. Um, let's do a little bit, a little bit darker than primary. And let's go here and above this new layer, I'm just going to create a new layer. And let's uh, right now, if you look, we're at 2000 pixels. Let's move it down to this is about. Yeah, let's go down something like that. And then, um, as you can see, I can draw and it'll create a kind of coin pattern now. I'm going to undo this. I'm going to go back to Shape Dynamics. And I got my angle jitter on. And I want to turn on my scattering. And my scattering is up pretty high, about 7. And I'm on both axes, like so. So now, when I paint across, alright, so we can actually tighten this up a little bit. And I'm gonna just up the scattering so it's a little bit. Alright, so there's my there's my scattering. 
And then um, let's go into layers and let's create a new layer. And I'm just going to go a little bit darker. And we're just going to kind of create our coin system here. And uh, we're going to do a new layer, go a little bit darker, like so. And each layer, each darker layer is under the larger layer. And let's go again, make it a little bit darker. Alright, and then I don't like this particular color, so I'm just going to kind of go to image adjustments, I'll go to hue and saturation, and I'm just going to move this over, be a little bit more brown. Like so. So now we've got our, our kind of layer. I'm going to go to this top layer. I'm going to go above. I'm going to take my coins here. I'm going to turn off shape dynamics. And actually, um, I'm just going to pick my hard round, go back with my spacing. And I've got my transfer pen pressures on, on control and opacity, or on opacity and flow. And I'm just going to go down to small. And I'm going to pick, I'm going to say OK. So now I'm just kind of going in and doing uh, layers so that some of this stuff will kind of stand out and like so. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but you kind of get the point. What we're doing is we're, we're uh, pretty much just going in here and giving a 3D look to this, the, the coins that we, we have in there. You know, we can do something like this. And all I'm doing is I'm just kind of pushing this in there, and giving the, the coins a little bit more feel, texture, kind of adding in... Um, the the aspects of you know all the stuff here and and it's just it's just boils down to you know put in what you think you know you want type of thing um, you know it doesn't have to be uh, perfect in the it's not going to be perfect in the video um, but you guys should just spend a little bit more time on it and um, you know I'm getting the shadows in there I'm getting you know, how, it depends really how much detail you want. You know, you don't want a whole lot of solid spaces. So if you see something that's not right, just go back in and kind of tweak it, um, and and so on. And then once you're done with that, you can kind of go do the exact opposite and do a highlight. And I'm just doing real small highlights here. Um, we can kind of go in and just kind of put in your your uh, highlight coins here. You know, it doesn't have to be anything. Uh, you know, it depends. You know how much you're going to actually be seeing. You know how big your texture is. I mean, if this is this is a pretty small texture, um, say you're working in like a, a WoW format. Well, the textures in WoW are only like 256, so, um, you know, we're just, just putting in here, like so, and, you know, just little bits of highlights here, and if you want, once you get, you know, some of this stuff in here, you can actually go in and, um, you can go in with some of your darks and you know you can emphasize things a little bit more um, you know if you need if you want to put some shadows to accent stuff and that's really what it's all about is just getting the right shadows in there um, if you want you can go with a darker color 
um, and just kind of putting that in there. Um, so that's that's pretty similar to what you're doing, you know. And, and this doesn't look like much up here, but when we actually um, when we actually zoom out, you know, you're going to start getting that that aspect of um, a feel to it. Now, the next thing we can do is you can pick one of your darker colors, which I've I've done already. Um, kind of almost go a little bit dark. And then what we can do is we can push the 3D look of these coins by creating a new layer and then going to our brush. And I'm just going to use the same brush setting, but I'm going to change the hardness. And let's uh, kind of push the darks around the edges. And that will look like you've got a little bit of shadow going on. And it really depends on how much detail you're actually going to add. Now, normally I said I don't use the layers here much. I don't change this. Sometimes if you want to put a multiply on there, on, uh, as far as the darkness goes, that'll actually add significant amounts of, of detail. You know, it'll, it'll retain your detail without hiding the other stuff. So sometimes that works too. And then, um, you know, over here, which this is, this is uh, just a, all your coins and such like this. Um, you know, so you've got these coins in there now. And, you know, say you want, um, you know, rubies or gems in there. Um, again, you can, you can either, you know, go here and hand paint something or just go in here and say, let's zoom up back again here. And this looks good. And then, you know, say you want a, um, I'm just going to go hard style brush. Let's create a new layer, but we're going to create this, this layer here, which is our shadow. And I you know, tell you guys to name your layers so you know what it is. Um, these are all our coins. Um, and at this point, we can control E, which will flatten the layer. And actually, we can probably, at this point in time, um, you know, normally I maintain this stuff, but I'm pretty happy with what I have for, for the time I spent on it. And what we're going to do is, you know, now we can actually go in and add in, let's add some you know, gems in there. So you can kind of go in and I'm just going to add one or two gems in there. So you're going to uh, create a new layer and we'll just keep it under here. And let's put a, a gem in there. Um, let's put another one in here and like so there's another gem um, and let's change our color let's I'll just pick a blue here you know so we've got some gems in there and then you know you can if you want necklaces or, or stuff like that in there you know it's just a matter of putting your your darks and highlights and let's put some red uh, let's put some red gems in there. You know. And I'll show you. So we just kind of, you know, litter them in there however you want. And again, I'm just doing a couple to show you how, how it's done. And then what you can do is um, take your size down again. And then we're going to go dark here. So what I do is I would pick this color um, to save myself a little, a little headache. I'm going to just go here and I'm going to check on the uh, state reserve transparency box. And I'm going to go in my paint mode here and go multiply. So I've got my blue. Let's multiply our blues. And we're just kind of going in there. And it doesn't have to be, you know, I, I tell people look at photo reference and stuff. Let's pick some reds, and we're just kind of going in here, and uh, let's go here. Just we're gonna add some of this in there, and so we've got our darks in there. You know, once you get your darks in there, then 
what you want to do is you want to default go back to white and put your highlights in there and again this is where oh, and this is where we have to go back to normal um, we can do an overlay or a soft light if you want but we're just going to kind of put these highlights right in there real quick Yeah, you know, something like so. And now this again, being so close up, this doesn't look like much. And I'm only using three, three colors um, as a as a uh, light source. So this is a highlight. A uh, so what you've got is you've got your highlight, your shadow, and your your base tone. Um, and we can actually go in and add in, you know, as much as we want for detail and such like that. So then we're just again save it and uh, I'll just show you guys so far on the 3D Studio Max side so if you look you've got your your base treasure chest again you know we can go in and you know if you want to add in um, some highlights so I've got my white going on so if I'm going to just go in here um, create a new layer real quick and I'm just you know I'm going to add in some highlights you know some sparkles on the on there so it's again getting down into the pixels and just kind of playing with it you know choosing choosing your your definition and stuff and you know kind of giving it some highlights here and there um, to get what you're looking for and again, this is a, just a quick, fast way to do this. You know, um, I'm taking a matter of like 20 minutes or less to create create this whole texture, which is something that um, you guys should spend a couple hours doing. That's something on this intricate. Um, you know, it's this is me just kind of playing with this this texture, some highlights and stuff like that. You know, and, and getting in there and kind of showing me or showing you guys what just a couple of colors and a quick brush can do. You know, so you can go in and if you want, you can do the opposite too and add in some, you know, darks in there. And, um, um, though I never, which I just didn't, but don't always, don't use your black just go to like a dark um, a darker color um, not a hundred percent because black will pop out especially on something this bright um, just kind of you know stuff like this and then you know if you decide that you want something in there you know You know something like so um, and again save it off control s and you know you'll start getting highlights and, and it's just a matter of what you're doing as far as you know putting in your um, putting in your complete and utter uh, you know detail you know just work keep working down keep working down keep working down and that's that's really what it boils down to um, you know the scatter brush was a quick way to do it um, the scatter brush was a quick way to do it and it's it's simple it's fast but you know sometimes you want to go in there and hand hand detail stuff so like these edges here if you don't like the way these edges are um, maybe you need to put another coin over it so it looks like the it's not going through the wood um, instead of you know going around so it's it's simple things like that so that's basically how to kind of start uh, putting coins and playing with your brushes a little bit um, you can put anything you want in there I know um, to actually kind of add on to this you might want to model a crown which um, you know is something we can we can you can work on and add it to this this piece as well um, or you can add you know anything you want in here um, you could put 3d objects in there you could put you know painted on there 
Um, so it's just a matter of what you want. All right. Uh, I guess that's it for today.